Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, the 13th of September. It's been an interesting couple of days. I was in the emergency department last night. Um, I think basically what's happened is while I was in Adelaide, I might have just partied a bit too hard and I just ended up getting really sick. And because I was showing um, symptoms of you know issues with my heart, I got a bit nervous last night and went out to the emergency department. Turned out everything was okay. Um, it was just the doctor suspects possibly a bad case of a viral infection. Um, but the good thing was I ended up getting a whole bunch of my, my vitals checked and everything looks good. So, you know, I guess there was that. But all in all, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong. Um, it was just, uh, it was a bit, of, a bit of a scary evening. This morning on the agenda, I'm meeting with an air conditioner installer. Now I need to start thinking about getting some cooling down in the shop and somewhere on the way the sooner I could do this the better. So basically we're just going to talk about what my options are and um, what's the best way going forward so that I can future proof my situation down there if I ever want to put some air cons upstairs at the same time. Today is also the launch of the new iPhone. I am very keen on getting a new iPhone because my current iPhone, the one that I'm using, if you guys might remember, um, I end up busting the screen just before I moved to Townsville. But it looks like the new phone has 4K video at 60 FPS. That's just, that's amazing. Um, I sometimes get questions about um, what I use for vlogging, like what camera I use. And I always say my iPhone because it's just, it's such a good camera and it's always in your pocket. And now that I can do 4K slow-mo, it's, it's just amazing. Just had a chat to the aircon installer and it's pretty good news. He reckons we'll need a eight kilowatt system for this whole room. And the best bit is that this wall over here is gonna be able to hold up to he reckons about four compressors. So the, the goal with that is the shops in there, this where I'm standing is eventually gonna be a garage for a car. In the future, this might be another car space. And then as I walk through here, from this post across and back, that's all gonna be utilities. So what's, what's gonna be nice is that all the air compressors can be on this wall hidden away you won't see anything and then it just pipes right into wherever they need to go so if I have some more split systems upstairs I can just pop another compressor on this wall and there's space for about four of them I don't think I'm ever <laughs> gonna have more than four air cons running upstairs so he's gonna quote me today for putting a split system head up on that wall running straight out and that'll be for this entire room. I've already been busy with the expanding foam. This is gonna have to go in everywhere because there's obviously heaps of cracks. You can see, you can see them through there. Um, where the cracks are too big, I'll obviously have to block them out. Like for example, above this bearer, I'll have to block them out. But for all of these small cracks, this expanding foam is just fantastic. So. I've sprayed it into this gap here. Now I can come along with a knife and cut it off flush with that. It's just, it's wicked stuff. You guys might remember those trees that I got for free. Here's the Morn Bay Ash. That's doing quite nice. But this paper bark has just gone gangbusters. I mean, at the moment it's sitting at about 700 mil. It's just grown so quickly. So what I'm thinking about that, doing with that plant is actually planting it where that uh, washing line is. So it'll be a nice tree in this corner. So pop it in the centre here, goes up and then from the deck we'll have such a nice view of that. It has been some really interesting weather the last couple of days. It's, it's been a lot more cloudy than it has and um, it's extremely dry. Back in South Africa, we used to have what's called a berg wind, and that's a very warm, dry wind. And a berg uh, is an Afrikaans word for a mountain. So a berg wind is the wind that's coming off the mountain. And whenever you had a berg wind, 
it would be very very dry it's this hot dry wind it's, it's a very strange feeling when it's cool and you've got this hot wind blowing and you know, normally it's the other way around anyway these last couple of days here in Townsville we've had this hot dry what I would consider a bird wind and the weather is definitely changing um, we still haven't had rain for like six to eight weeks but there's definitely a change happening that's how you tire a dog out <laughs> This weekend I'm hoping to take care of two things. The first is this door and the second is that door. So I need to frame this door out by the actual door that's going to go in place and then do the same thing on this side. Where it gets a bit tricky, this door is pretty straightforward. You've got your threshold there. It's all pretty straightforward. I'll, I'll build up a header, that's no problem. With this one, um, the top half is all okay, but down here there's a step from the floor down to the foundation. I need to play my cards right because at some point this is all going to be paved out here. So I need to think about how I'm going to do my levels here. This door should technically open inwards, so I need to make sure that the door is above this internal level, which means I need to build this out here, but I also want to make sure that the there's a bit of a slope away from the internal floor so that any rain that comes in will be pushed out. But then I need to consider how this step that I create or this, this gradient that I create is going to affect the pavers that will be out there. So if I make it all out of wood, no drama, I can always fix it later. But obviously I want to do things as forward thinking as possible. The skip is finally being collected today. I held on to this for a little bit longer just so that I could use it for getting rid of some of the junk that I had around the house. But the builders have organized that it picked up today. Now with that skip gone, for the first time in a month, I have my entire yard back to myself. There's no skips, there's no blocks. I can finally turn this garden into a yard.